My name is Jennifer Canary and my work is Labyrinth Psychotica. It is about understanding the subjective experience of psychosis. When you enter the labyrinth, there's a surprise around every corner. You're going to walk through a narrow path and on that path there are more than 18 different materials and they are there to open your senses slowly so your job is to kind of walk through. There's walls reacting to your presence, talking to you. There are voices coming from the ceiling, from the floor. There are lights and hidden messages in the air. You can meet the oracle in the center and you might ask her a question and she might answer you on the way back. But basically you're entering the mind of a girl named Jamie and it's your task to try and understand and walk the path of a delusion. The ideas I'm exploring in my work are about understanding what it feels like to hear voices, what it feels like to be uh, functioning in a different world than others experience. So it's a do-it-yourself psychosis. Your associations will determine your delusion. What inspired me to do this artwork was actually a really sad story. My sister-in-law, who was diagnosed with schizophrenia, she passed away in 2005. She committed suicide. And about a half year after she passed, I kind of all of a sudden realized I didn't know anything about her experiences. I knew hallucinations, I knew delusions, and I knew there was a chance that she could commit suicide, but I didn't know why, I didn't know what she was experiencing, and I was quite shocked by that. I think what helps people understand the mental state is that it's immersive. It's a world created especially for the viewer. So I think technology is a wonderful tool to better understand what it feels like to have and experience mental distress.